Hey everyone, Magna Gopal here. Did you recently sign up to your friend's crazy push-up challenge where you have to do 100 or 200 push-ups a day for the rest of the month? Well, if you're struggling and you're like me, it's not because you can't do it, it's just that sometimes you don't want to and sometimes you forget. So here's a short tutorial of a really useful Android app I use called Habit. It's perfect for fitness challenges. It keeps track of your progress and it'll send you little reminders so you don't fall off. I'm not sure if uh, iPhone users have a similar app, but for my Android peeps, I think you'll find this very helpful in achieving your goals. So our first step is to go to the Google Play Store and download the Loop Habit Tracker. This is what it should look like in the Play Store. Once you've downloaded it, open the app, and then we can get started with creating our habit. So let's take, for example, doing push-ups every day for this push-up challenge. At the top right, you can see a plus sign to add a habit. Click on that, and let's call that habit 100 push-ups. The question here you can ask is for your reminder. Whenever you get a reminder, you can actually make that reminder personal. So let's make it, did you do 100 push-ups today? Yes, I've already made this habit before. <laughs> um, we want to repeat it every day because we're going to try and do it for about a month. So you can do it every day, but any other habit, you can make it whatever frequency you like. Um, we want to set a reminder just in case we forget. And I'm going to set that reminder for 4 p.m., which gives me just enough time to finish that 100 in case I haven't started yet. And you can choose which days you want to be reminded. In this case, since we're doing it every day, we're going to get leave the checkboxes so that we can be reminded every day as well. And you can always choose the color, whatever you prefer. I like red. It's a little bit aggressive for exercise. And hit save. And boom, there you go. You've got your habit that you're trying to track. Now, if you click on this, this is where you're going to get all the information on how frequently you've done the habit, what dates you've done it, what your streaks are. Um, and since we haven't done it yet, obviously there's nothing to show. So let's pretend that we actually did that today. Actually, let's pretend we did it every day. By the way, this is not the way you want to use this app by pretending that you did it every day. Um, and now when you click on it, you can see that the habit strength you can see that we've actually done it, so there is a little increase there. You can see the history where the dates that we've done it are clicked there. The best streak, since we did it five days in a row, is obviously five days. And then the frequency is um, the days that you tend to do this most often. So if we want to go into our history and add other days that we've done it, I'm going to pretend I've done it all of these days. Wouldn't that be amazing? I'd be so awesomely fit right now. <laughs> uh, so let's say we've got that and hit OK. Now you can see that your graph has also changed to show you uh, when you've been doing it well, when you haven't, um, as well as my streak has increased to six. And then the frequency, you can see that Friday is a um, big red dot. And that means that Fridays are generally the days that I'm pretty consistent with. So this is a good way to see when to plan stuff like uh, exercise, but also a good way to see where you could use a little bit more motivation, like those really tiny dots. Um, now, one of the great, the great things about this app, at least with Android, is that we've got widgets. I'm not sure if iPhone has that or not. So if you close out of the actual app and you go to your home screen, you can add a widget. And they've got a couple of widgets. Two of the ones that I actually like are the check mark, which when you put that onto your home screen, you can choose which habit you're trying to track. Of course, if you've got more habits here, it'll show you a complete list. Let's click the push-ups. Since I already selected that I've done it for today, um, it's already there as a check. But if I click on it, it gets unchecked. So it's very easy for you to say, OK, yeah, I did it, and make sure that you're tracking it. Then the other widget that's really good is the history widget. And this one is kind of like good for motivation. So we're going to select our habit again and increase the size of that. And this way I can kind of get a look at how frequently I've done it um, with the colors or with the dates that are blocked out in colors. So if you've actually been pretty consistent, that entire um, chart of dates, that entire calendar is going to be red. And that's kind of a nice little affirmation to your goals. <laughs> So that's about it. Uh, very easy to set up, very 
unintrusive. There are no ads or anything like that. You can track your push-ups. You could track um, a new instrument that you're trying to learn or how often you're calling your family. Um, you can pretty much track anything. So I hope you guys found this video useful and I hope that it will help you get closer to your goals.